Welcome to our true or false Bible quiz. Did Jesus really say that? In this quiz, we will explore some of the most intriguing and often misunderstood statements attributed to Jesus. Your task is simple. Decide whether each statement is true or false, and then we'll reveal the answer with a detailed explanation straight from the scriptures. This is a fun and educational way to deepen your understanding of Jesus' teachings and challenge your Bible knowledge. So grab a pen and paper, get comfortable, and let's dive into the wisdom of the Gospels. Don't forget to like the video, comment your score, and share it with friends and family. If you enjoy this quiz, make sure to subscribe for more engaging Bible content. Let's get started. Question 1. Jesus said, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 5 verse 44, Jesus teaches, But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This radical command reflects the transformative power of Christ's love and his call for his followers to embody that love even towards their adversaries. Question 2. Jesus said, Do unto others before they do unto you. True or false? The answer is false. This is a twisted version of Jesus' teaching. The actual saying, known as the Golden Rule, is found in Matthew 7 verse 12. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. This principle emphasizes proactive kindness and empathy. Question 3. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. True or false? The answer is true. Jesus makes this profound statement in John 14 verse 6, affirming his unique role in salvation and his divine nature. This declaration underscores the centrality of Christ in the Christian faith. Question 4. Jesus said, Judge not, lest ye be judged. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 7 verse 1, Jesus says, Do not judge, or you too will be judged. This warning highlights the importance of humility and self-reflection, cautioning against hypocritical judgment. Question 5. Jesus said, money is the root of all evil. True or false? The answer is false. This is a misquotation of 1 Timothy 6 verse 10, which states, For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. The focus is on the love of money and its potential to lead people away from faith and righteousness not money itself. Question 6. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 19 verse 14, Jesus says, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. This statement reflects Jesus' love for children and the importance of childlike faith. Question 7. Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. True or false? The answer is true. This beatitude is found in Matthew 5 verse 5. Jesus highlights meekness as a virtue, promising that the meek will inherit the earth, signifying a reward for humility and gentleness. Question 8. Jesus said, God helps those who help themselves. True or false? The 
the answer is false. This phrase is not found in the Bible and is often mistakenly attributed to it. It actually originates from ancient Greek literature and was popularized by Benjamin Franklin. The Bible teaches reliance on God's grace and help, as seen in Psalms 46 verse 1. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Question 9. Jesus said, Take up your cross and follow me. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 16 verse 24, Jesus says, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. This call to discipleship involves a willingness to endure hardship and sacrifice for the sake of following Christ. Question 10. Jesus said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. True or false? The answer is false. While this phrase is from the Old Testament, Exodus 21 verse 24, Jesus offers a different approach in Matthew 5 verse 38 to 39. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Jesus teaches non-retaliation and forgiveness instead of retribution. Question 11. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. True or false? The answer is true. In John 10 verse 11, Jesus declares, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. This metaphor highlights Jesus' sacrificial love and his role as protector and caretaker of his followers. Question 12. Jesus said, Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 22 verse 21, Jesus says, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what is God's. This statement addresses the issue of paying taxes and emphasizes the distinction between civic duty and spiritual obligation. Question 13. Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 4 verse 4, Jesus responds to Satan's temptation by quoting Deuteronomy 8 verse 3. It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. This underscores the necessity of spiritual nourishment through God's word. Question 14. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. True or false? The answer is true. In John 14 verse 1, Jesus comforts his disciples with these words, encouraging them to trust in him as they trust in God, especially in times of uncertainty and distress. Question 15. Jesus said, All who draw the sword will die by the sword. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 26 verse 52, Jesus tells Peter, Put your sword back in its place, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. This was said during Jesus' arrest, emphasizing nonviolence and the futility of resisting God's plan through force. Question 16. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. True or false? The answer is true. In John 6 verse 35, 
Jesus proclaims, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This statement signifies Jesus as the essential sustenance for spiritual life and fulfillment. Question 17. Jesus said, Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 6 verse 21, Jesus says, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This teaches that our values and priorities reflect our true affections and that our hearts follow our investments. Question 18. Jesus said, Blessed are the rich, for they have received their reward. True or false? The answer is false. This is a distortion of Jesus' teachings. In fact, Jesus says in Luke 6, verse 24, But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. He often warned about the spiritual dangers of wealth and the importance of generosity and reliance on God. Question 19. Jesus said, The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 26, verse 41, Jesus reminds us to watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This encourages us to stay vigilant and connected to God through prayer, knowing that while our intentions may be good, we need his strength to overcome our daily struggles and weaknesses. Question 20. Jesus said, let your yes be yes, and your no be no. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 5 verse 37, Jesus teaches, All you need to say is simply yes or no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. This emphasizes the importance of honesty and integrity in our speech. Question 21. Jesus said, The last will be first, and the first will be last. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 20 verse 16, Jesus says, So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This statement often concludes his parables and teachings highlighting the upside-down values of the kingdom of God, where humility and service are exalted. Question 22. Jesus said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. True or false? The answer is true. This teaching of Jesus is recorded in Acts 20 verse 35, where Paul quotes Jesus saying, it is more blessed to give than to receive. This principle emphasizes the joy and spiritual benefit found in generosity. Question 23. Jesus said, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 6 verse 24, Jesus teaches, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. This underscores the necessity of undivided loyalty to God. Question 24. Jesus said, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. True or false? The answer is true. In Luke 5 verse 32, Jesus says, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. This reminds us that no matter our past mistakes or how far we feel from God, 
Jesus invites us with open arms to embrace his love and forgiveness, offering us a fresh start and a purpose-filled life. Question 25. Jesus said, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. True or false? The answer is true. In John 8 verse 7, Jesus challenges us to reflect on our own imperfections before judging others. Let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. This teaches us to approach others with grace and humility, recognizing that we all need forgiveness and compassion in our lives. Question 26. Jesus said, By their fruit you will recognize them. True or false? The answer is true. In Matthew 7 verse 20, Jesus reminds us that our actions reflect our true character. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. In our daily lives, let's strive to embody love, kindness, and integrity so that others can see God's goodness through the way we live. Question 27. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is within you. True or false? The answer is true. In Luke 17 verse 21, Jesus tells us that the kingdom of God is within you. This means that God's presence and transformative power are not found elsewhere, but right within our hearts and lives, empowering us to live out his love and grace every day. Question 28. Jesus said, you must be born again. True or false? The answer is true. Jesus said in John 3 verse 3, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. This means that to experience a true and fulfilling relationship with God, we must undergo a profound spiritual transformation embracing a new life through faith in Jesus. Question 29. Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. True or false? The answer is true. Matthew 6 verse 33 encourages us to prioritize our relationship with God above all else, reminding us that when we seek his kingdom and righteousness first, he will provide for all our needs. This means trusting in his plan, even in uncertain times, and knowing that he cares for every aspect of our lives. Question 30. Jesus said, Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. True or false? The answer is true. In John 15 verse 13, Jesus exemplifies the ultimate expression of love by sacrificially laying down his life for humanity. In our lives, this verse calls us to emulate Christ's selfless love by serving and prioritizing the well-being of others above our own desires and comfort, just as he did for us on the cross. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the teachings of Jesus in our True or False Bible Quiz. We hope you've enjoyed testing your knowledge and gaining deeper insights into his profound words. Remember to tally up your score and share it with us in the comments below. If you found this quiz enlightening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more engaging quizzes and insightful Bible content. Come back to our channel for more Bible quizzes and daily Bible verses. Stay blessed. Keep exploring the Word of God. And until next time, may His peace be with you always.